We're on our way um, to Division 10, which is a maximum security division at Cook County Jail. All of the men there and the staff call it the Christian Day because the Life Learning Program is a 24 hour, seven days a week Christian programming. They come out in the morning and they have a deck prayer. And what that consists of is they, they sing a few praise and worship songs, they read scripture, and they pray. We, have, we, we sit at tables and we, some of us do Bible studies ourselves. And it's just a pleasant atmosphere to be down here. And uh, I, I, I can't compare it to no other place in here because I haven't been nowhere but on 1A. And I don't want to go nowhere else but 1A until us not leave here because I've heard other stories. So God is definitely down here. No, I was just kind of going with the motions of jail. You know, I've been locked up for five years and I've been you know, bouncing around from division to division to division. I found myself here, so I started staying in my cell and not coming out. You know, I hear the guys come out, you know, they do a deck prayer, they sing a song, and everybody gathers together and, and prays. And I, I hear, hear the singing of the songs, I'm like, oh man, where, where, where do they do this at, you know? They, uh, people don't be singing like this, and you know, as they're singing songs, though, each day is kind of is wearing on me. It's, it's, it's pouring into my heart, and um, then little by little, I started attending the, the deck prayers. Then little by little, I started singing songs with them. And then now I'm reading the Bible and I'm writing songs myself. The inspiration behind them is maybe I could, you know, draw somebody closer to God by the song. Um, the one is called, you know, Road to Salvation. And, you know, when you're, when you're seeking salvation, it's a, it's a road. And it's not going to be a, a, a paved road or with, with, with shining lights and you can find your way. You know, you're going to have troubles and trials and tribulations. But always have faith and, you know, Jesus will keep you safe on, on the road. Do you either sing or read that for us? Um, Just read out the lyrics if you don't want to. All right. Um, on this road to salvation, follow me. On this road to salvation, we'll meet Jesus. On this road to there salvation. There are several misconceptions. I would say the two biggest that come to my mind right away is, first of all, some people think it's too scary to get involved in. And then there's other people who think that um, it's just not worth it. That people in prison deserve to be there. Um, and if you're going to put forth a lot of effort and uh, dedicate a lot of resources to uh, doing ministry, there would be better places to put those. This is as low as I can go. And I know that God had intended for me to serve Him. And being on this program, I came to realize what my purpose is, which is God created me to give Him glory, that He's not interested so much in as far as me getting out of jail, but he wants to get inside of me. All the other things that I have are from him. And you know, when I, when I didn't know that there were blessings, I always thought, wow, I got good luck, you know? And, you know, and luck didn't come into it, you know, because all things come from above. And uh, now I know that everything that I have and had, he, he's given to me. And, um, and I thank him every day for it. We have a leader or a teacher in, in a life learning program every day. And normally there's two to three leaders and volunteers and teachers that are there on the life learning program. It, it's advantageous for us to know the will of God. Now that may sound strange, like how can I know the will of God? But God wants you to know his will, right? He wants you to know his purpose and he wants you to know his plan. After the inmates are released, Chicago Prison Land Outreach gives them the opportunity to take a course in welding. In a classroom on the south side, the men gather to study different welding techniques. They then move over to the shop to practice the welds they've learned. This helps the men support themselves and their families with a skill they can take pride in. I'm growing, I've grown, you know, from, you know, when I took the program. So seeing other guys progress in life and it's just, they don't want to make that quick money. They want to make the money that they work hard for. They want to weld and, you know, get the paycheck instead of resulting to the streets. 
If you value the difference that Chicagoland Prison Outreach is making, please keep us in your prayers and consider donating to help us continue the work before us.